Today I am going to upgrade the speakers in my Honda Ridgeline. Hello, welcome back to our little channel, Life in Every Season. Today I am going to upgrade the speakers in my Honda Ridgeline. It's a 2007, so it's a first generation Ridgeline from Honda. All I had left, I didn't play it for you before I started, is uh, I that all that's left are the tweeters. So I have an intermittent one front door speaker that works, so it's more than ready for a change of speakers. The head unit seems to be good. I pulled it out and made sure all the connections were good before I decided to replace the speakers. It's a Pioneer head unit. Of course, it's ancient now, but it seems to be working fine playing CDs. So I'm just going to replace the speakers. And so I'll show you how to take the door panel off and then the speaker installation. The great thing is we're going to be able to do it without Cutting wire, soldering, there are connection kits for it. Make sure you get enough to do all four doors. And I decided one of the other reasons to do this is that if the emergency broadcast system went on to say for tornadoes or bad weather, I couldn't really hear it. So I'm thinking, well, my phone's not with me. Why not uh, be able to use the truck speakers again, even though you know I got used to not having any speakers. So We'll upgrade this. I will show you all the tools necessary. I have things laid out in the bed of my truck. I did um, go ahead and do the passenger side so I could do this quicker and hopefully film this better. So I've got one slim mount six and a half inch uh, Polk speaker. Uh, I will put links. Of, I bought these off Amazon. So I'll put all the links, the adapter, so the speaker will attach to the adapter and the adapter to the door. You'll need four screws to attach the speaker to the adapter. You'll need drill screws. Uh, you can use 5 8 inch or 3 quarters are working. I did test that the, nothing's rubbing the windows fine going up and down. So you've got screw four screws to attach the speaker to the mount. Drill screws will attach it to the door once we get the panel off. This adapter will plug in. This end goes into the Honda speaker uh, wire cable and then this will go to the new speakers. So no soldering, no cutting of wires, nice and clean. The only tools you'll need is a thin flat blade screwdriver a Phillips head and a seven millimeter um, socket a door trim puller if you have it otherwise a, a flat screwdriver would do it more of a medium to a large side and then I'm going to use my drill uh, to help me set the uh, the drill screws uh, I would do everything by hand except for putting the drill screws in um, especially as we take the door apart you know this plastic is ancient on this car so i think using your fingers or very little force is, is recommended just because you do not want to break anything if you can help it we're going to the screws that came with the speakers are too thin so i found four thicker ones uh, in my spares like I say I'm even going to put my thumb like that so that if I slip, I'm going to hit my finger, which I'll sacrifice so I save the speaker. And I like to um, work if I can as efficiently as I can. So I'm go I've got a small cardboard box. I'm going to put all my tools in this and then all the nuts and bolts and screws off the door panel as we replace or uh, get to the old speaker. So again, just take your time. Like say, I think you'll be happier if you use hand tools and not power tools for this part. I'm gonna go back and tighten all these up after I get all four seated. This makes a really easy 
easy installation. I have not messed with replacing car speakers since I was probably 16 years old. So we're <laughs> talking over 40 years ago. So, and I would just rather do this. I change oil in my cars. I do maintenance around the house. This is one, it's fairly simple. I thank the YouTube community for putting this out there. I'm just doing my own bit with it. And I think I'll let them feel tight. Yep. We'll check them one more time. Yep. So these two clips. And we I'll show you on the old one, but these these will go in so it'll mount like this. We we'll use drill screw here, here, and one down here in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the wires. These are great if you don't have a uh, electrical tester for positive and negative there's a thin post which the new one goes here so we'll get that fully seated there it goes give it a tug make sure it's not going to come loose do the same for the other side and it's labeled positive and negative here on the back of the speaker there it snapped All right, so we're nice and snug. So this connector will go to the Honda speaker wiring harness. Like I say, it's nice and slick. I did it on the other door. So let's go over to the door and I'll show you how to take that off. All right, I have my box of tools. I'm gonna to grab the small flat blade. There is a rubber cover right down here. This is what it looks like. You can just gently pry that out and we're going to put it in the box with the tools there is one other cover while i have this in my hands right behind the door handle just kind of gently get at the bottom and push up there are little ears i don't know if you can see so when you put it back it'll go in Push in from the top and then slot it back in. It'll go in the box. Phillips. There's one screw here on the armrest. This one doesn't look like it's been out like the other side. Yeah, pretty nasty down in here, especially as old as this car is or is it a truck or a, I've heard it called an SUT a Redline a sport utility truck all right so that one's pretty nasty looks like it's had some sort of like I don't know Vaseline or something on it well Put that in the box so we'll have it for later I'll wipe that out a bit there is seven millimeter bolts there's two right here the first one you can get to or the bottom one without opening the handle oh I should say I am working on a gravel parking lot so I put a piece of cardboard down in case I drop something. I'm hoping it won't get in the gravel. If you've ever worked in gravel, you'll know why I'm trying to not be dropping nut or bolt. It's, not as, it's much better on a cement driveway, but we are nowhere near ready to pave this piece of property yet. So there we go. Got the second 7mm bolt out. This is your door cable it comes like this so we're going to lift it out of that little metal bracket and this is where I don't like going see how that black little plastic arm clamp you need to push this cable down and pull this one back so let's see if I can do it by hand I'm going to 
use my small flat bladed screwdriver to maybe help me. I hope. There we go. So that just, see how that just snapped loose? I just gently pushed on that side. Now, I tried, you have to take this off. I tried to not take it off on the other door. It will not work that way, unfortunately. So you're gonna have to take that loose. There are three additional Phillips head screws here. Once you get your door, plastic door handle loose. And this is going to be it for the screws and bolts you'll remove. There's a, one more thing on the front doors you do that you don't have to do on the back. And I have my trim puller. And that is this little triangle piece that comes out from the top. So as, as gently as I can, try to work it. It's got a, just a press. There it goes. So it's got ears on the, on the bottom. And this is what it's pressed for it to fit at the top. So it'll go back in, put the ears in, push that in. Now that's out of the way. I'm going to start down here at one of the corners. There we go. I just start. It always feels like you're going to break something, but gently get one loose. You can just, usually by hand, just work it. I've had like the other door, mine are so old that a little piece of plastic breaks. So there's I'll show you the connectors. There's one that fell out. So one of, these are the connectors that go in, go in the plastic and then push into the middle. So we'll save that one in our box. I'm going to use this trim puller to help me. All right, so I think we got all that loose. Anyway, I say on the other door, my vehicle's so old, some of the Places that hold that grommet, that trim grommet, um, were broke, but I had enough that it keeps it tight. So, and this is a part to be gentle on because you can't just take it off right this to get it loose. But you have two electrical connections. You've got this one has more being the drivers, but you've got a little light courtesy light and then you've got your power door locks and power window switches we're going to depress them if i can they're all a different size so that's helpful door panel is loose finally you can do it that was good i was able to get the door panel loose i didn't break anything what I was struggling with was where to push these uh, connectors of the wiring. This is in the middle. This one here is in the middle. Like I say, they're all a different size, so you can't goof it up. And this one's in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. But that's good. And this is the speaker we're going to take out. Oh, before we go too far, these. Um, these will go back into the door panel in their respective slots. They won't attach well if you leave them in the door, so I'm going to gently pull them out. There we go. Got one more. So we will put these in the box. So there's your door cable, your electrical connections, and these speakers are not held on with anything but uh, this metal clip I'll show you. So you push down on it. There are ears. Now let me get loose. There. 
so these ears are go down on these this little metal clip you just depress it and that's it look at that big magnet isn't that huge <laughs> that might be worse than the first car i owned which was 1982 these speakers might be worse all right so We are going to wipe our hands off first. A little, little bit of gunk inside here. I don't know if it was spray to keep it from rusting or corroding or not, but I don't want to get it on everything. So we have two ears on the mount. This will go down. I will go ahead and plug in. Look at this is really nice. So there's your connection. Like I say, no cutting of wires, nice and clean. And we are ready. I'm gonna tuck those wires back there, put the bottom clips in, and that's it. Now I just need to attach the speaker to the door so it doesn't move. I'll put my trim puller back in my box. We're going to grab some drill screws. if I didn't get out so before I go all the way back let's make sure this thing works the speaker works there we go yeah, some things are useless when they aren't in Paris for Tuesday there we go can't believe how well that sounds Two speakers are way better than none, or, or should say, uh, no speakers and two tweeters. That's all I had working was a two tweeter, so that sounds fantastic. I am going to double check that these Phillips screws are still snug. That's nice and tight. So now we can go back with the door trim. All right, so I'll try and show you these little white clips go in their spots. Here's one. This one didn't come loose. Alright, so we're going to go back with the electrical connections. I'm going to put the courtesy light back in. Like I say, it's just screws in. I'm going to put in, it's got one extra clamp. This blue one, it goes into connector that is blue. So even I can't goof it up. There goes the middle one. There's the end one here. There it goes. Alright. All the electricals hooked back up. I will check it after I get this door back in. We're first going to get the the door latch here through the hole if I can. Yeah. 
There we go. A little bit of niggling. All right, that all feels like it's in the right spot. Let me check. Yep, I can see my holes are lining up. So we're gonna push those grommets back in, so right around the edge. Here, I'm gonna clip in. So it's on there pretty good. Yep, oh, I did what I did last time. I may have to take it back loose. I got the cable to the door unlocked and it needs to be coming out here and I have pressed it. Let's see if we can. back out push trim back on this had to loosen it up a little see I'll show you how bad I am at working on this stuff y'all can learn from my mistakes okay so let's now oh, let's put the trim piece on this triangle see the ears go down first there it goes Probably the most delicate part of this operation is getting your cable back in. So I'll try to tilt that where you can see it a little bit. There it goes. Mine, unfortunately, looks like it broke. The old plastic just from age, everything in this car, it spent its life in Miami, is just gone. So we'll see if that'll work once I get it back in there. We have three of the gold Phillips head screws that hold, we'll get that one started. First, not cinch it down until I get them all started. All right, there we go. So we'll tighten these three Phillips head screws. We can put our door handle together in its final position see if mine's gonna work okay right. let's see if a zip tie will work to help keep that cable from falling out of its position I'll be getting out the duct tape. All right, let's see if I can get this started. couple of the teeth so that's what I don't want to do is swing this way and that zip tie looks like it'll hold it in place fingers crossed old truck we have the bolts yes yeah, seven millimeter bolts And the lower one you can do without pulling the 
Bring them all. Look, goes in tight. I don't think this side of the door has been apart before. This one's in the upper corner. All right. Try not to hit the tripod with the camera on it. Make sure I got my keys. Keys are in my pocket. Let's see the door handle works. Oh yeah. Let's, let's check the door locks. There they go. Door locks are working. Unlocks working. Door handles working. In the... Do I have any? I have my trim pieces left, and we will be done. Nope. So we had a box. Look down, there's this one last screw, the first one I took out. So, this whole process is putting things back. The first thing you took out is the last thing you put back. All right. So, the square one goes in here. It looks like it has a little indention here. I'm going to put that over where the screw is. That fits. Remember the one that goes behind the door handle. It's got these two little um, clips. The bottom one has one. So we're going to stuff the end from get the top started first. There we go. And then push it in. It clips in. So we're done. We have new speakers. So don't know whether you can see me very well <laughs> allow um, probably get where you can do 15 minutes a door allow 30 on the first first one for sure and just take your time say it's not a bad job it's just like many things a little time consuming but hopefully this shows you all the steps I appreciate you watching hope it was helpful leave comments because I am not a mechanic by trade I am attention to detail because I am an accountant, a former CPA, so I am used to uh, making things, uh, make sure they tick and tie and everything goes in its right spot. So, <laughs> hope this helps. But as you saw with the zip tie, I'm also creative, so I guess I, I can do creative accounting when needed. We'll talk to you later. Talk, hope this helps. We appreciate you stopping by, and we'll catch you on the next one.